Hello everyone, this is the Kmar Commander here with Beckendor and Queen Steve for yet another episode of Newscasting Fools. Fools. Where we want you to send us your replays to Zelfares at gmail.com because this is a YouTube series where you can actually go ahead and do that. So, like I said, send us replays to Zelfares at gmail.com. We don't care Let's what. From there, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, the control, cool control shift click boom. Oh, uh, no. What? You want to do it? This is why we're noobs, guys. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he's trying. trying. He's trying. Come on, struggle. come on, come on, struggle. Come on, come on. Struggle. It's a struggle. What? Dun dun. What's the hockey? Dun 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 dun. Oh, there hey! Yeah. What we want, what we the noobs want us, you to send us your replays to zelfers at gmail.com. We don't care what skill level you are, just as long as it's a pretty interesting gameplay, we'd be absolutely happy to cast it. So yeah. now in this case, this is definitely not the fools playing. These are two masters players. I didn't look up to see what level they are, masters. Um. But. We aren't exactly masters player here. I mean, Beck North and I are both in diamond. Um, Kmart Commander, he was a he was a, I can a, count. Gold, a gold champion back in his day. I can count to <laughs> potato. Uh, exactly. Yeah, so, I know nothing now. <laughs> so we're gonna do the best we can to cast this. It might be more of a foolish replay, but we'll do the best we can. Yeah, no, um, we'll try. No, we, we do watch do a lot of professional videos, so we're somewhat educated. <laughs> Well, I mean, that, you can tell that just from the conversations you guys have on air. Well, we like watching the the professional tournaments, and I don't know if you guys know the WCS is going on right now. Oh, really? Um, yeah. I'm not exact. It looks like they have, the qualifiers have finished. I'm not sure if all the regions, will, the winners will end up facing off, but they've... Yeah. It, is, that it's region, is that region based? Like, just different regions face each other? It is region it, based, it, so it it's, is. it's you have yeah. North America, Europe, yeah. Southeast Asia, yeah. and Australia. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess. But, um... How are those Aussies, by the way? <laughs> a couple, you got a couple good ones in there. Yeah, huh. yeah. Wait, we should get back to this game here. So, um, what do we got here, back in North? So, in the bot, well, we have to introduce the players first. Right. In the bottom right-hand corner, as the blue Terry, we have Milkweer. Milkweer. In the top left-hand corner, often parallel but never surpassed. Barco. <laughs> <laughs> Did you come up with the, the, that from the last one? No, that was just I, I no I, that was on the spot. But actually, guys, spoiler: <laughs> I won't give away anything. I have watched this replay. I actually casted this game already with Gorgonoff. Before but, quick time, but quick time Failed. is terrible. It's yeah. so buggy. You'll do one thing and it'll record. You'll do another, and then Whoa. once you make the game Whoa, guys, full screen, I just stop. noticed something. Do you see those little white things up in the top corner there? Is that OBS or is that StarCraft? That FPS. Is, uh, I think that's OBS. That's working. OBS. Woo! We love you, OBS. <laughs> so, what's our favorite new get, casting tool now? To get into this game, it's a pretty standard opening by both players. Um, our barcode player is opening with a fast expand. Oh, Probably an Oracle, I'm assuming, from the Stargate. Actually, oh. not really a Wait, fast expansion. How can you build a Stargate a, that early? How can you build a Stargate that early? Oh, tough. wow. So, this is a pretty normal Protoss opening. He went gateway first, nothing yeah. too greedy. Um, he did scout, so he knew there wasn't like a barracks proxy coming in. Um, again, if he invested in more Reapers, it might have been a problem. Mothership Core's out wasn't a real problem here. It looks like we're doing 1 1 1 both on, every, on both of them. So they're both getting the entire tech tree there, which could be interesting. What's well, that second building? The real interesting right, thing right, right now is that we have two Cyclones coming out. Yeah. I would say <laughs> one is very nice for defense. Um, two definitely means good versus team. all ends, good versus oracles. Um, he did see the Stargate coming down, so this Wait, makes yeah. perfect That's sense. But awesome. two of them and a Viking, so he might try to do something with those yeah, Cyclones. He, he sees this fast bird, he might try to pressure the third. It's definitely possible. Yeah, this is a little bit greedy by, um, barcode. Bar I don't want to call him barcode, but we're just gonna well, call him just call him EEEEE! gonna call him the red It's I, so be, I don't know, I guess it'd be E. Well, let's just call him barcode. <laughs> That's gonna get annoying, really. Yeah. And this mic actually picks that up now, so... Yes, we can't get a good mic! <laughs> we can't get away with screaming like girls in the background. We have to yeah. scream like men. I also, mean, you also, made, you also may notice I'm actually much more calm compared to the last one we recorded too, mainly because we are also in Okay, Oracle's coming house. in. Woo! I see one. Oh, oh he targeted, oh. he missed. Very nice. I targeted like him. The mules. Yeah. Oh! So, I'm, I'm trying to remember back in Dwarf, how much minerals does each mule end up getting in his lifespan? Well, a mule, when it's mining, is like equivalent of six workers. 
Six workers? Each Does delivery it is 30 minerals. Oh my gosh, I kind of forgot about that. So, wow. And it lasts for 90 seconds. That's insane. So that's six That's why Terran... For 90 seconds. I was going to say that's why Terrans are OP, but really, so, it, they're not. It's... Ex un until you really get... I mean, I wouldn't even say up until Platinum. Until you're... Uh, maybe until you're Platinum, it's... Protoss and Zerg are easier to play because you take your army and A move it, Protoss and Zerg will yeah. win yeah. all those times. Bane lanes and Storm are pretty bad. Right. You, you need to be more... Ironically, you need to be more micro-based with Terran. <laughs> it's all about her... You know, yeah. your army is... At it's weaker, level, it's, it's more mobile. Kind of micro. Mm. Um, like, yeah. the higher levels of Protoss, you have fewer units, so every unit matters. So right. Hey, can we Very take a important. look at that air coming in? Very so, important. he is... Again, he has two oracles and a phoenix right now. Um, I'd like to see if he continues to build more phoenix, but this yeah. definitely has the possibility to get some workers. Yeah. Double oracle, you can run in. Okay, if we can watch that back in here, please. Thank you. Yeah, so we have... Wow. But he's already got, like, several, um... Oh, he... Oh, so the cycle... Some of the ones are anti-air. Yeah, they can't... It's a block on the oh. You have to manually select. So, yeah. Oh, so you have to manually select them, so they don't have an automatic no. attack? Okay, nice. Didn't you know, those no sort of minds. That would have been a problem in yeah. using both of those. But um, yeah. I would say at this point, um, again, the third base was ca was canceled, right, by those yeah. cycles. So yeah, they did. That's very nice. I mean, the has his Protoss has his third up. Now, no. Terran, it's interesting, is getting pretty fast fourth and fifth barracks. Hmm. I mean, um, I imagine he's going so to my own, but it looks like he's mad. No, he's... De no, he's this, this was for an early push, these uh, Cyclones. He's primarily going bio. He has Stim done. What's going on now? More so, harassment. Yeah. More harassment. Yeah, but, okay, the third base, is the third base done for Terran at this point? Not even started. Just started. And so, just started. So, so he's, so, by putting the fourth and fifth barracks instead of third, he's definitely opting for more aggression, which definitely can be good. Yeah, um, though he's going to have to, he has to be able to do this. The yeah. third base is already even down for Protoss. Because the, the, the unit count... I mean, we have 53 probes to 46 SCBs. Wow. Uh, and, yeah. That's and not good. <laughs> and he's mining on more. Well, it's not bad problems. because, again, he did cancel the third. Like, so, what, seven I would say, like, right now would be the opportunity where yeah, he needs to push Army out. is even. He needs to push, he needs to harass. Yeah. He, he You're talking about Protoss here or Terran? Terran? Okay. Protoss can just sit. He has yeah. an economic advantage. Yeah. Um, he does have a. Um, Are we called Temple Archive? Yeah. I think. Is he researching Storm now? Yeah, Storm, Storm is on the way. Um, the Glaives are almost finished. So, I like how our Red Protoss is using yeah, let's air this control air, just um, to gain north. map control. Yeah, that, that is, that's interesting. It's, it's a smart move. He's bought, he's making the Terran player more scared of moving out. Yeah. But, in fact, he really needs to move out because Storm is almost finished. Double Forge is being exactly. built. So This air, it... It is doing some damage, and I think the Phoenix in general, they can be... I, I'm curious what he's thinking. If it's just harassing because it's really using the Maybe the harass when he sees him, but he doesn't have that much pressure. It will be good in engagements for killing medevacs, but really, if he can just keep the Terran on his side of the map, keep poking and doing little damage. Because again, the Terran is supposed to be the one harassing, doing exactly. damage, because the Parados army is just, by nature, it has a lot more tier three. Yes. It looks like Terran though is um, moving out though, yeah. so he's trying so, to do a push. So this to me, I mean, well the supply the has, you know, you know, his army is pretty powerful. So he's, he, has he has storm. high templar. That's those, quite those a bit of storms storm. are going to be oh. excellent defensively. Those high templar have been there quite a bit, so no, he's going to have to do some nice splitting here. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh! Ow, come on, man. Wait, they're all gone. Oh! oh! He's just oh, walking. On. No splitting, no nothing, just walking right into that. And let's see if we Oh, the, this is where the, the fight the uh, Phoenix are nice to pick it off the Yeah. Oh, uh, that was bad. Oh, that, that was really bad. This doesn't look good. The supply is like. Oh, look at the supply. So this is. And on top of this, Protoss is getting a fourth base. Oh. Yeah, this let's is. Let's look at Terran's third. These. Barely even I mean, mining. He's, um, he could he definitely is, uh, the transfer some workers, yeah. he, and he's just behind him. Forty six SEBs at nine minutes into the game is not. And, uh, he has lost some units. Yeah, let's just look at. But, yeah, let's keep a look on that air. I think that's where the action will be happening. So, a uh, lift. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. So really, at this point, the only uh, way for Terran to maybe be able to get back in this game is first of all playing your third CC. Yeah. 
start his fourth base or float his main command center over. He has to keep harassing. Now, the problem is with this, again, I like the choice of Phoenix because it's going to make any drop play a lot more difficult to actually have. But he's going to have to split up his army, poke in, try to get that fourth. He has to use his maneuverability just to be able to get some damage done because, again, Protoss is up 40 supply. If Protoss yeah. went across the map right now, Terran would die. Yeah. So he has to buy time to get ghosts. Yeah. He does have 2-2 two -two coming the in. One, yeah, that, that is the queer's one advantage. He has a pretty, you know, a pretty substantial upgrade lead. 1-1 one, one is done. 1-1 one, one is barely a quarter done for our Bronco player. That is true. Um, so if he can build up a large enough army engagement, but... It then, looks like the Protoss army is moving out yeah. right now, actually. Uh, but this, this, is this, doesn't, this, this doesn't spell army. good. And, and there's Storm, and there's no Ghost out. So I mean, that's if, if, he, if the Terran had a mech, would that be good against Storm, I guess? I you mean, need Ghosts. You, you, you still need EMP Ghosts. and Snipe. EMP, because mm -hmm. Storm is still powerful. Um, Protoss would then have a lot more Immortals. Right. So you got several high templar. We already got an Archon. Right, yeah, this doesn't look so, good. So I mean, yeah, some units. But I don't well, if he can hold now. the top of that, top, yeah. if he sims now, holds the top. Oh, okay, he he's sim, 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 sim. Well, he's walking back. So now they have an even. If he was on top yeah, of that ramp, uh, here uh, comes the storm. storm. He really is there. Okay, he is splitting more now, which is good. But those add ups are taking a lot of potential storm. He's up 50 supply. There's just so much storm. Yeah. And behind this. Yeah, the base, he just no, added up more to be fair, there aren't okay. More depths came in. I was gonna say that there wasn't tons outside of this high temple, so maybe if he can bait out enough storms, yeah, but there's um, still a it's of slightly them. awkward position because he's just kind of sitting in the middle. I like for him just to get off oh, that. Oh, he no, he missed a lot of the high temple. If he really needed that ghost type of high there. Oh, uh, so then oh, EMP there. Right. Oh, oh, oh no! Yes, he oh, yeah, he can just he lost so oh. many SCPs. I mean, he's not doing bad, and he has some reinforcements coming in from the back but as well. Honestly, even if this, you know, this is getting cleaned up, which is nice, but he's killed so many. Well, if he can get all those high templars, that, that is maybe. Oh. But is there any way to stop the storms except like splitting your army up into smaller chunks? I guess ghosts. Are really well, needed. the third um, command center cell. I would. I honestly, what I would have really liked is if Protoss had just attacked. Oh, that there is we go. very nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm trying to save my Morphin and Archons, but there's too much bile here. I mean, that's, that's a very nice pickup. Especially 2-2 two, two is finished. Oh, there's a, a oh, really? Orc in the main. So this is nice. Just leaving my extra units. Although, this is going to get cleaned up and fairly decent trade for Because that 2-2 two, two advantage versus 1-1 one, one is pretty substantial. Yeah. I would have liked, though, to be honest, for Barco just to come in. I know he was scouting for the fourth base. That's why he attacked from there. Yeah. But I would have liked him just to come in from the top. If you can just go to the Terran's third or fast back and north. Come from in there. from there. That way, there wasn't the possibility of being surrounded because if he, had he, had a good, he had a good initial engagement versus Milkwar. But again, he was he was able to get surrounded by the vile forces. So he could have sniped the third, killed some... SEVs and moved out. Do, do we have any ghosts coming out here? I mean, I have one being how many built. do we have? Um, currently, zero ghosts on the field, one being built. Yeah, that's not gonna. Because we have to remember, Milkware's economy: thirty-four SEVs against. Yeah, there really is this no. Is not good. If we had just There's beyond no come and sit in from, for um, Milkware, then then Maybe. he could win. Because, you know, it, it just requires, he needs to be harassing. He has not, yeah. outside of moving his whole entire army across the map and attacking he needs one this, point. He needs to distract and slow down. Yeah. Look, again, his, his macro has been good, his upgrades have been on point, but you're not going to beat a bigger yeah. Protoss, bigger, that's exactly. heavy economically. Yeah. And has a better army. Yeah. I mean, he's mixing in ghosts, which is good. Um, and really, it seems like Barcode's doing great just trying keeping him back with the air. Oh, yeah. He's, 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 basically... Yeah. Uh, Barcode is... Yeah. He's basically played a perfect game. He yeah. just... He Maybe. did... He harassed some of his air. He yeah. sat. He got stormed. He can attack. He doesn't have to. He's yeah. been expanding pretty aggressively. He's played outside of getting his third cancel, which that was just the nature of... The build. That, the and, build, you know... Um, what's it called? Um, Milker didn't invest a lot to get that done to right. cancel the third, but he's played basically a perfect game. I think if he could attack from the top, this game would be over by now. But he's still played a very good game. Yeah, it's, 
It would be hard for him to win. It's impossible. If he had a horrible engagement, but he's starting at fifth base now. Wait! Yeah. Oh, wow. Melkor's actually trying to move out. Did I say yeah. Melkor? Which is Melkor. From... Melkor, okay. Milk. If I say Melkor, that's probably just my Mi Lord of the Rings influence coming Melkor, out here. Melkor, not Milker. I mean, the Milker. This is a large army. Considering wow. He doesn't have that I mean, SUVs, well, I mean, so. where is where where's the Barcode's is, army? I'm is curious. What's the army? Third? What's army value to army value? If you look, I'm um, just go up to the um the top right with your cursor. Oh, PP. Hey, oh, hey back north. Move to the top right part yeah. of the screen. Ninety nine to move down to the front. Oh wow. So it's still larger. Okay, it's he did small. cancel the fifth. I like that. Um. If right. he can land perfect EMPs uh, on all the Proto Side Templars. Yeah, but he has like what? Maybe. One, he has like one ghost, I think, right? Yeah. It is 2 2 versus 2 2 now. Okay. So. I mean, I would probably have way more ghosts than this, considering how huge his army is. He doesn't but, have much in the economy yeah. to build him, you know, so. No way. But he has to be, he has to take his army, he has to do, I would drop in the main, run into the fourth, run into the third. He has to keep Protoss on that side of the map, max out, then maybe, yeah. if he starts getting Liberators, but... I mean, for one thing, the air really can't deal with this huge army at this point, so yeah. I mean, it, it, he can stop his previous tactic yeah. of... Yeah, I know we have Colossus uh, on the way. Wait, Colossus on the way? Yeah, <laughs> so that's Thermalize being upgraded. So he's, he's, uh. That would just seal the deal, because yeah. you need Viking Liberators to kill. Yeah, it's a smart choice. Just to okay, go. he's gonna pick up some phoenixes here. Yeah, that was a interesting. Move. Okay, so. Oh, he's actually managing to whittle him down. Oh, well, he actually avoided that, that one. That nice. was good. If he's oh, that store he is. Oh, I tem ah! hit, it, hit the Templar. No. Ouch. That hurt Ow. a lot. Because not only is it the damage, but then he even got the ghost. That was nice. Oh. Oh. Okay. EMP oh. Got beautiful EMP. EMP. That was good. Good EMP. Very he lost nice. the ghost. Oh. Oh. But well, oh the, no! The it's army of there's so much so much here. more. He got a good EMP I mean, in there, but he didn't. Uh, nice, really skinny not. thigh Templar. And there's oh, the command center just floating around for no reason. Yeah, the third. <laughs> oh, he attacked the third the same. Hey, time. maybe we can land on top of the enemy. That would do something, right? It's nice shading the depths to the natural. Yeah, there's just not again. Yeah. That was a decent fight by Milker, but Barcode is just playing a solid game. Seventeen is SCVs. It's gone. It's just wait. It's, oh Fifth my god. Is wait, seventy eight drones to 18, 18 SCVs. Yeah, this Probes, is this is. Oh. Yeah, and again, that. I like that he's been trying to harass while he's been attacking as well. It's just he was able to force that third to lift up, and now he's killing more units, and more SCVs. <laughs> uh, you yeah. can really tell. You can really tell the barcode knows what he's doing as a yeah. Protoss player because he's kept that. He kept that harass on, like yeah. what you said. It's unusual for yeah. Protoss. Yeah, I mean, not, okay, here. This oh, is, oh, this oh, is over. This is, and he's got him squashed on the edge there. This isn't good. Yeah, this is. No, we do have more Terran coming in from the south. Do we? You know, I don't even uh, think this is it? all Protoss' army. Yeah, yeah, I don't think so. Ooh, yeah, wait. I, so this is actually huh. a pretty good engagement for... Well, I'll be. I mean, he, he doesn't... I don't think there's four army. He wow. Yeah, that was actually a decent engagement. Some, he actually no, managed to repel I'm, him. <laughs> the, though it wasn't his four army. If you look at the supply right now, it's... And Still, he's double almost colossus. double. Oh my gosh. He did have four Colossus. And yeah, all his bases are covered. I mean, even look at his fourth I mean, base this, to the left. Yeah. You have a depth sitting yeah. there. So, Bio against this, I mean, this is not no good. Ghosts, Storm, and Colossus. Yeah. yeah well, the mistake he's making, he should not be trying to engage the army. He, he should, should go. Down bases, you have an exposed fourth and an exposed fifth. A fourth base, a fifth base. Yeah, that's yeah. something right. He, he can't do a front engagement. He has to just attack bases. He, he just needs to prevent Barco from actually finishing them all. That's what he should be trying yeah, right as now. As soon as Barco that tries he... to move out, then Milker I mean, should be there. He has so much gas, he can really warp in six high Templar. Right. That's a lot of gas. 900. Oh, yeah. More. So decent, yeah. I guess. Yeah, that's great. But the economic, it's just, yeah. And though, however, Milker did float his main command center and then his third over, so. Yeah, 22 he SCVs. Is, oh, yeah, well, mules. But mules, mules are aren't nice. 50 workers, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. That's a lot of mules, though. He has, like, no gas. <laughs> that, too. wow, that is a and lot And no gas, yeah. So, I mean, he had, like, okay chunk of bio, but it's all this is bio. High Templar Colossus. This is the Protoss Killer Army right now. You would need Liberators. 
Yeah. Man, look at to deal with that. Army. And he doesn't nearly have the economy to that. I mean, he's got like he's, what he's, twenty-one he's, gas, so there's no way. There is. There is. Oh really yeah. Now he's got DTs done. coming in, which is like he's got everything. <laughs> he might actually have like almost everything except maybe carriers at this point. Like, like he's actually yeah, laughing now. He just knows yeah. how ridiculous this is. Exactly. <laughs> he fought hard, but even yeah. now he's not even. I don't even know if he's gonna engage. He's saying GG. He knows he's done. He knows he's done. Like he doesn't care anymore. It's just he's gonna send him there and just watch these things get toasted by the War of the yeah. Worlds machines. <laughs> The you only, know, they definitely took inspiration from the War of the Worlds with Maybe kind of if he had, like, you know, a lot of Liberators. Or even like a few. Liberators. Because there are really aren't that many. Well, he could have just walked into Stalkers and made more Phoenix. He could have storm, but Stargate. still, it's... It's true. Yeah. He's even waiting for 3-3 to finish first. <laughs> that Protoss. Covering all his bow. 3, 2, 1... It doesn't make a difference, but hey, 3-3 is done. Oh... At least he said he had 3-3. Three, three. Oh, the, oh, the storms uh, are so real. This is disgusting. Yeah, this is, this is terrible. Oh, I, 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 you gotta, at least, he could have at least split up towards no, the command center spot. Nothing. At least, at least you half. You have bosses with range now. Oh, oh, this is oh my god, that is a huge range. Good. Wow, that is a huge range. Increase the depth. And then they have depths going to behind. Okay, that's just, yeah. It's, it's game over. I mean, we can storm the base. Yeah, Melkor even totally Gigi. got there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is over. <laughs> he fought valiantly, but I mean, the story of a Terran player, you have to slow down your Protoss Reserve opponent. Yeah, if you don't, right. they will get a bigger army, a yeah. better economy, and reserve. Maybe if Terran was mecking, so if he was going like tons of tanks and hmm. doors, and maybe yeah. there are. T I mean, well, probably if he's mecking into battlecruisers. That's probably the only time yeah. where as a Terran you can just yeah. sit. <laughs> but, but that's like all the way up, right? <laughs> yeah, so basically you're just defending get battle yeah. cruisers, but but I mean, are so battle cruisers actually that useful? They, they, they are can good. Be situational. The armor works very well for them. Um, they and can, they can warp, warp now. You have your model. Yeah. Cannon. Wait, they can warp? Yeah, like literally. What do you mean? Battle warp? cruisers, you can warp across the map. What? Yeah. Anywhere. What? I mean, it's a cooldown ability. I have been out of this game for far too long. It's pretty cool. It's not <laughs> overpowered no, because it, it, you you can use it tactically very well. Like huh. for instance, if you want to snipe a base, you fly five battle cruisers, edge of the map. He doesn't really know they're there till they're there. You, you kill can't. the base and then you just warp out. Huh. I don't so. know if you guys, any of you guys who watch Twitch, but Nathaniel yeah. before he was playing against Zerg player, he built three battle cruisers, brought them to the other side of the map, Yamato cannon the spire, and then warped out, and the guy just GG'd because yeah. he had nothing that he, that could fight against air. Yeah. That's amazing. So that so, was pretty amazing. That was amazing. Well, Alright guys, well that's the end of this replay. This was interesting. I have to say Melkor actually fought pretty well, just minus the fact that she didn't keep um, <laughs> the Protoss at bay. But, but again, very nice barcode. I would like to see a game where you have a, a Terran more of your caliber harassing you just to see how well you would do. But um, yeah. yeah. Even yeah. though the Terran wasn't harassing, he did have... Um, I think it's Mothership Core is primarily at his natural. He had um, units at his fourth base. If you go over yeah. here, I don't know. He probably doesn't have it now. Cannons. He had cannons. Yeah. He had the depth sitting there. I, he did prepare himself yeah, for harassment. So yeah. Yeah. nicely done. All right, guys. Well, that's it for Noobs, Guys and Fools. Again, if you want to send us your replay, send it to zellfellows at gmail.com. I am the Camera Commander. I'm Beckendorf. And I'm Queen Steve. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs>